Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. It is 7.02 a.m. on Wednesday, the 30th of May, and once again, it's a little charvy. I know, it's just charvy. We've all seen charvy, but then we've all seen all my little hamatrons. So, I just wanted to show off little charvy again, though, because he's such a sweetheart. I finally figured out what's going on with that patch between his eyes and why his eye is gloppy. So what I did was somebody had sent me a large, because I'd asked for it on my wish list, a large silent wheel. But it's very, very large. It's like half again as big as the other mesh wheels. And so I've been hesitant to, to really use it because I've not been able to, to be sure what to do with it. It extends above the top of the cage and all that if I put it inside one of the bin cages. But I finally figured out last night, I was watching Charvy run on his wheel and there is on the little plastic, not plastic, it's metal, but there's a little thing where the, the bottom posts come out, two pieces of metal, and then they come up like this. And then the wheel has these axes and it spins on the posts, you know, from the thing that goes in the center of it. What he does is he gets up and he pushes his face up against the side of the one bar so that he's got his, the side of his face pushed up against the bar. And then there's the, the connector axis thing comes down and spins. It goes bonk up, up against the side of his face and bonk. And so he's scraping his eye and rubbing the fur off of the, the middle of his nose. So I took that out of there when I finally figured out what it was. I put in the big soundless wheel. So it's taking up a lot of space in the center of his cage. And it's heavier, so it's harder for him to run on it. He can't run as fast and he doesn't run as often on it, but he's running on it now and he's not smushing his, his eye and his nose up against the metal bar. I, I don't know why he was doing that. You don't have to. In fact, he had to push himself over to the side so that he could wedge his face against the bar. So he was specifically doing it for whatever reason. You don't have to. None of my other hamsters have ever done that. But because of that, I, I went and changed it out so that he would be uh, healthier and happier. Because he does run on the big soundless wheel. It's just a much bigger wheel. Like I said, it's about half again as big. The smaller mesh wheel that he usually ran on, I've got to comb my hair, of course, is about six inches from side to side. And the other one is like a full foot from side to side. So it's a big difference in size. But it's good because if it keeps him, lets his hair grow back and gets his eye to stop being gloppy, then definitely he doesn't need to be doing that. It, it doesn't help things. Ugh, poor little guy. He's a little sweetheart and I don't want him to get hurt and, and continue to hurt himself. So I keep an eye on him to make sure that it works well. And when he's up and running, he runs on it and it's good. He just can't run as fast or as long because he's his weight compared to the wheel's weight. Before it was his weight as compared to the metal of the wheel. They're about the same. There wasn't much metal in it. But this thing has a lot of plastic. So it's, if you put it on a scale, it's like here's the wheel, here's the hamster. Thunk! So it's harder for him to move it. But it does move when he runs. He just can't run as fast. Here's hoping he keeps running though. And then. Now I've, over the months and months and months that I've, I've had my stuff in here, I've had stuffed toys just shoved down here into this shelf because I don't have any place to put them and that's not a bad place. And so I've had them wedged inside of there. And occasionally I come in and, and there's some of them on the floor. And it's like, well, why, why are they on the floor? And I haven't been able to figure that out. Figured like maybe I must have knocked them loose or when I was digging around, some one of them fell and I just didn't notice. But then a couple weeks back, Amelia had gotten hold of one of the little emojis 
and was playing with it all over the floor. And I was like, oh, okay, well, gotta be careful with the emojis because she likes those. Well, this morning, I'm sitting here getting ready and I hear a tink, 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 like little claws batting against a spun glass ship inside of a bottle. Like, say, this direction, this spun glass bottle right here that was sent to me by a very kind contributor and subscriber, Maria Dachi. But this is a very, very nice blown glass ship inside of a bottle. And when I turned around to look, Amelia had stretched up onto her hind legs, had one of her paws holding herself up here, and was batting down one of the emojis that I had set up against the side of the ship and was going clunk, 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 clunk up against the spun glass ship with her claws trying to get the emoji down. Hokey smoke, so I know why the stuffed toys were down because she wanted to play, but then when they fell, thump, what's a cat gonna do with a beanie baby? It's too heavy to really move. But when she gets the emojis down, she chases them all over the floor. So no more emojis around the spun glass ship, hokey smokes. I do not want her dragging that thing down. That would be very, very bad. Ugh. I don't know how much it costs, but even at that, it's the thought that counts. Whether it counts, whether it's $500 or 50 cents, the fact is that that is a, it's, it's reverse image here. So when I'm not thinking, I, I try to point to where it is on the webcam, but that's the opposite of what it is in real life. So if I'm not thinking, I've got to go, oh, that way and point in the opposite direction. So I can't remember what I was talking about now. I'm going to point out, but it's, I just don't want her destroying all this stuff. So I'm going to take all the little emojis off these things and then let her play with those and keep them down on the floor so that she doesn't tear my stuff down. Hokey smokes. <laughs> Man, she's a beast, but it's a good thing. Oh, I was thinking of cats or dogs or something. Now I can't even remember and that makes me sad. But then I'm always sad that way because I never can remember anything. How about that? One thing, just to point out again, as I've pointed out before, but I've always have new people watching and I forget things and people forget things, but this is another one. All my undershirts are uh, shirts that have been sent to me by kind contributors and subscribers. This one is a nice NSC for an early senior citizen. Very, very cool. So I'm wearing that as my keep warm shirt. Yesterday, for all that it was really hot for part of the day, it was actually really cold. There was a cloud cover for most of the morning and part of the afternoon. And so it was like, by the time I went outside to see what the day was like, it was like two o'clock or some odd. And it was not hot, bright, brilliant, sunny day. But because of the cloud cover, it was kind of chilly. It was actually nice. Because when the sun hit you, you started to heat up pretty, pretty fast. But the air moving around was nice and cool. So it was a really good mix very nice and then it got really really cold and I had to wear my uh, I do have an actual kind of summer jacket summer jacket but I don't like to wear it because it's hot it's black and even though black can be nice black does tend to absorb heat and it's not as uh, light as I would like and especially it comes down and it covers my arms and it doesn't fold up up here well and so it tends to fall back down and cover my arms and this is the part of me that determines how warm I am if my, I can if I cover this part of my arm but keep my arms uh, both sides but keep the rest of my body uncovered with with a jacket I will still get too hot because my body apparently uses my forearms to determine how warm I am so if my forearms are warm the rest of my body is warm, even if it's not. Even if I'm actually freezing, my body still registers as too hot because my forearms are warm. That's one of the worst parts about wearing a jacket and trying to keep actually warm warm when I go out walking is because even if the rest of my body is super, super hot, 
If my arms are uncovered when I'm walking and they're cool, the rest of me is cool. So I've got to really watch my body when I walk and check and determine a whole bunch of different methods to make sure I'm actually too hot or actually too cold so I, I can manage to keep my body properly cooled and heated with my zippers and opening and closing my jacket if I can't get my, my sleeves of my jacket up above my arms. So my light summer jacket is black and heavier than I'd like and so I still had to wear that and it was nice. That made it nice was the point when normally it would be too hot. Because I did go for a walk last night. I had to go for a walk. I was in here like all day until, was it all day? Yeah, I didn't go for a walk in the morning yesterday, did I? No. It's so hard to remember. Yesterday morning is three days ago to my head because the morning time is yesterday and then the afternoon is another day. So each day feels like two days. So yesterday has the effect of being yesterday and yesterday morning and the day after the afternoon. So it's like, oh, it feels like three or four days have gone by when it was just yesterday. So, well, I can't even remember what my point was. I was just yammering on about that. I keep overloading my color filter on my webcam. It's a Logitech uh, 920C HD camera and it's I overload the color filters on it just so easily. There it's like get up there and boom and then boom again and then boom oh now it's not going to so of course oh there we are doesn't matter thumbs up I don't even know if it shows up on rendering that way but on my webcam preview thing it sure does thumbs up for that. <coughs> Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. I woke up not late, but not early. It was about 5.30 when I woke up because when I finally got to sleep, it was well after midnight. I don't know what time it was because it was just about midnight when I went to bed and then or right around midnight? Was it a little after? It was right around midnight when I went to bed and then by the time I fell asleep was well right around half past something like that maybe a little more maybe a little less but finally fell asleep and then boom 5 30 wide awake so i'm this is the first time in my life i've ever been a morning person so it's really really weird for me i never really in my life have i gotten tired when it the sun goes down and been awake when the sun is up and been able to sleep almost effortlessly at night. I mean, even six months ago, I wasn't this way. So it's really, really weird and I'm having difficulty adjusting to normalcy because I'm not a, no a morning person, not at all. But here we are. <laughs> kind of... Uh, I really kind of wish I hadn't had my nerves damaged when I when I had my teeth ripped out. This side, I think it is, it's the one that it droops more. Because this side I talk with higher when I smile, you know, it goes up and the other side doesn't. It's, it's, I used to, when I used to smile, it was both sides evenly. Now when I smile, if I'm not thinking about it, it's just one side. And then I got to oh, double check to make sure that I'm doing it properly because the nerve damage from getting my teeth ripped out went and damaged my smile nerve. Thumbs up for that. At least as long as I can see, I can, I can pull up harder on both sides so it's even. And if I'm really like thoroughly, massively happy, both sides will go up well. But otherwise, generally, one of the reasons I watch myself while I'm doing stuff is to make sure that I'm not just talking with one side and looking like I've suffered from a stroke. So that's always fun. You gotta love that. I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab on my channel. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. It is a range because even though I count in American Sign Language on the fingers of my left hand with my physiological issues, I, I get lost. Even watching myself count, I forget where I am. So, sorry about that. 
If I mispronounce any usernames, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're not good at pronouncing names. We're good at producing weapons for the rest of the world to purchase and use on their own citizens, but we're not really good at, at much else. And of course, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read the comments afterward, but for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. So good comment, bad comment, and different comment, just thank you for having left me a comment. That's the important part. It is appreciated. I do like pleasant comments much better than unpleasant comments, but thank you for having left a comment in the first place. So first off, we have Heather Hartman. Thank you so very, very much. And Chris Jericho, greatly appreciate it. It's Convict, C-A-W-N. Thank you very, very much. And Jared Glasspool, greatly appreciate it. Suicide Oath, Kyler Bridgers, greatly appreciate it. Thomas S., thumbs up and thank you. Farticus Maximus, how about that? And Lingo One Gaming God, greatly appreciate it. Ben Jekko, greatly appreciate it. Philly Fresh, thumbs up and thank you. Karen Wise, greatly appreciate it. Pluto Grand, thumbs up and thank you. Hope to the Weak, thumbs up. And BMX Jr., thank you very, very much. Ernesto Pimentel, greatly appreciate it. Robin Trump, thank you. Mutated Nut, how about that? Thank you very, very much. Claude5190, greatly appreciated. The Darkness97, thumbs up and thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hitman, thumbs up. Homer Simpson, <laughs> thank you very much. Yuval Grossman, thank you. Joel Hates Puns, thank you very, very much. Conspo Lopez, good to see you in the comments. Thumbs up and thank you. And last but not least, Potato Tron, always good to see you too. It's nice to know that you're still watching. Thank you very, very much. Thumbs up and thank each and every one of you. As stated, you get me out of my head, into the world, de uh, dealing with things, and that's a good thing. I'm moving one of my windows to try and get proper backlighting. I don't know if I've had it up before. Because otherwise it's like too dark, and otherwise that's too bright, but that's not too bad. Since I don't have actual backlighting, I have to use my monitor and that's a terrible terrible thing to use for lighting it looks awful but hey it fits in with with my general um life which is tacky cheap awful breaks if you use it and uh yeah thumbs up <laughs> I have an Amazon wish list if you'd like to support me in some fashion without actually sending me any money. That'd be very cool. I've got mild and fluffy things if you don't have much money. And if you're independently wealthy and suddenly feel a wild hair, I've got some expensive stuff on there. So feel no obligation to even take a look. But if you do take a look and would like to support me in that fashion, thank you very much. Michael Sorenko and Potato Tron have sent me gifts of candy off my wish list. I had to close my eyes to remember the name. Thank you both so very, very much. I keep forgetting to thank you in vlog, though I've thanked you both in a tweet. Thank you very, very much. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. It would be awesome if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign. I'm at minus 300 right now. i got to make a rent payment, and it's going to be tough. And I still need to buy cannabis, and hopefully I can get rid of my storage unit this month before I have to pay for it. Uh, if you could help, that would be awesome. But if you can't, don't worry. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very, very cool. Like one of these beautiful and awesome people. Thank you so very much. But again, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. I would definitely appreciate that. But if you are not down with it, I understand. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until, well, the day I die. And that's a good thing, too. I'm also a partner with Humble Bundle, if you could check with them. I am a paid sponsor, so letting you know that first and foremost. But I'm also a user of their service, so that's cool, too, if you could check them out. But don't feel obligated. But if you do use my link down below, I get paid for, for your having done that. So that's awesome. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to hopefully have a reaction video today, hopefully a game video, hopefully a game video for my game channel, or 
I'm, I'm going to try and get stuff done because I need to live stream. I've got to get 10 hours of live streaming in within 30 days to get verified. So I'm going to hopefully get that done. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So take care. Avoid the death bus. And 